here is Amy Williams, CEO and co-founder of Goodloop, and Dan Holt from Havas. Over to you guys. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Amy. I'm the founder and CEO of Goodloop. We're a purpose-powered advertising platform. So we drive ad engagement whilst using the 500 billion dollar advertising industry to fund amazing charities around the world. And I'm, I built this business and I'm here today because I really believe in brand purpose and I'm really proud of the campaign that we're going to talk you through in a little bit more detail. Hi guys, I'm Dan. Massive thanks to Goodloop for inviting me on stage with them today. So I'm a strategy partner at Havas Media Group and I look after clients such as BBC, Starbucks and GifGaf. Um, before working media side, I had worked at a creative agency, so I've kind of got experience at how to build brands in the right way, beyond transactional, and how do we kind of create value beyond, beyond that. All right, so to kick it off, we all know the dummy's guide to purpose marketing, right? Step one, plinky plonky piano music. Step two, a soft but reassuring female voiceover. Step three, multiple reminders of how unprecedented these times truly are. And step four, of course, is Kylie Jenner. And for the last 10 years, but especially in the last 12 months, brands that step up, brands that stand for something, they're the brands that earn our love, our trust, our loyalty, and ultimately our spend. So there's no doubt that purpose is powerful, right? But it's interesting that this year at Cannes, one of the judges, one of the judges commented that the, the entries were a purpose parade. You know, it's almost like we've spent so long building purpose that we forgot to build a brand. And if our industry experts have noticed, there's no doubt that our consumers have too. Absolutely. So this, you know, brands are being accused of this virtue signaling and greenwashing. And uh, at Havas, we have the Meaningful Brand Survey, and we've just launched the latest edition of that. And that's kind of echoing a lot of what Amy's saying there. And at Havas, we believe in meaningful brands, uh, making a meaningful difference to businesses, brands, and the people that we work for. And what the latest survey data is saying is that we are entering the age of cynicism. And this is made up of basically a lack of trust, a, failure, uh, a lack of belief that brands will deliver on what they say they'll do, and also an expectation that brands need to act now for the good of the people and the planet. So at Havas, we have our Meaningful Brand Survey, and it helps us navigate where are those opportunities for us to, uh, with our brands, kind of make a difference. And that's what we'll uh, talk to you about today with some of the work that we've done for this lovely brand. So uh, thinking about brands that build purpose while still having a real personality, GifGaf is a fantastic example. You know, ever since its inception in 2009, it's been a brand that challenges the status quo and it's always had community at its heart. In fact, the word GifGaf is an ancient Scottish term. It means mutual giving. And so right at the core of this company is this idea of collaboration, of connection, and of community. And in fact, their company values are about challenging the established way, harnessing the power of people and making things better. And so when we approached the Gift Gaff Gives Back, purpose proposition, we, we needed to find a charity partner that was going to help them deliver on those company values in a, in a genuinely authentic way. And they found that partner in Neighbourly. Now Neighbourly are a fantastic tech-enabled giving platform. They support grassroots community initiatives and they connect the disconnected. They work both with people and with the planet, so they're a fantastic partner for GifGaf. And so we brought GifGaf and Neighbourly together through a recent Good Loop campaign. We distributed the creative through our carbon neutral in-stream format. And if the user chose to engage with the creative and watch the GIF GAF ad without scrolling through, if they gave us a little bit of their precious time and attention, then they unlocked a free donation funded by GIF GAF to support Neighborly and support the community projects. And so in this way, the consumer gets to do good for free in collaboration with the brand, and the advertiser gets enhanced engagement with the video, but also an uplift in brand positivity, and we gave over £20,000 to community projects through the campaign. Makes it sound super simple. So to actually go back to the start and talk a little bit about 
kind of how do we do that? And as I was saying, with the Meaningful Brands data, we look at it across functional, so the kind of the quality and the price of the brand. Personal, so how does that brand make you feel? And collective, where we ask what is the role for that brand within society? And then you can display it in this rather snazzy spider graph, bit of data, and you can kind of carve out where the white spaces are for you to kind of make up the biggest meaningful difference. So what we can see is basically how a brand is under-delivering against what is important to people. And that way you can kind of, yeah, identify where to make a difference, but also find your white space amongst the category as well. So you can be a little bit distinctive and different in what you do. And what we're seeing is that innovating around minimizing waste, making a positive contribution to environmental issues, was really starting to matter more to people. And then this kind of armed us with the data to, to look inward at kind of supply chains at GIFGAF and start to challenge the way that they, they kind of roll out products and, and go to market before we started thinking about the kind of the comms of that. Actually, how can they be uh, changing their practice to be a little bit more in tune with what people wanted? So with that kind of intelligence, we then were handed a brief with their development of the refurbished handset proposition. And um, a, a brief to raise awareness of this at Black Friday, but because we had the intelligence about what people were saying about kind of innovating around uh, waste and environmental causes, we actually felt that we had an opportunity to do something much bigger and with far greater kind of meaningfulness and having a more emotive impact. So. What started as raising awareness for refurbished handsets, to do this effectively, we had to first raise awareness of the problem with e-waste. There are 55 million dead handsets lying in people's drawers across the UK. Most people have two. And this is a result of years of kind of money being spent pumping out advertising, telling people that they need to upgrade to tariffs they don't need, handsets they don't fully use. And basically, it's not sustainable. So working with Good Loop and working with Lad Bible, we, uh, we sought to reacquaint the nation with their old handsets, and we got them to check their drawers. Getting the tone of this was really important. That's why Lad Bible were a great partner, to make this part of a kind of broader social responsibility. And it isn't just kind of like purpose washing. Doing good can be good for business as well. So taking a slightly counterintuitive uh, kind of people before profit style approach actually meant that we're now number one for levels of refurbished handset awareness. Sales of used handsets outpaced sales of new, and we ended up getting 1,200 handsets put back into circulation so we could really start to lead the way in a more circular economy for handsets. So it's a pretty perfect example, right, of a brand that does have purpose, but does it with personality and find something really distinctive that they can own. And I wanted to end by just saying that we're not alone in this. There are some fantastic organizations and communities that are thinking about how we can make our industry more positive and more purposeful. Purpose Disruptors are a fantastic group. We used to meet in the pub. Now, unfortunately, we mostly meet on Zoom. But we chat about how we can make the industry better. And they have this initiative called Change the Brief, which empowers empowers agencies to talk to their brands about how we can really use advertising to push new behaviors, better behaviors that are better for our planet. Um, there are some others. The Conscious Advertising Network is a community of volunteers. Havas and Goodloop are both members. We work to six manifestos to a more positive internet. And then we have the B Corporation. So both Havas London and Goodloop are B Corporations. This means that legally, within the foundations of our business, we value both profit and purpose equally. And that's really quite unique and quite important. And then from a sustainability perspective, our industry has a huge role to play in cleaning up the, the, the carbon emissions. The internet has you know, a higher carbon footprint than the airline industry. And there is some fantastic work being done around making our industry more sustainable. The IPA Climate Charter is a really holistic look. And within that, Goodloop has built and is about to launch a green ad tag. It's kind of like a viewability tag, but for the planet, so we can carbon offset our entire digital ecosystem. And actually, Havas are about to launch a sustainability marketplace. Goodloop is going to be one of the launch partners in that, and um, you will find out more soon, so stay tuned. 
Thank so you. I hope, <laughs> little teaser, I hope that this session has been a, you know, a, a helpful look at how purpose doesn't have to be tropes and worthiness and cliches. Purpose is about carving something out that is unique and distinctable and that connects consumers with your brand about something that really truly matters. So we have a few minutes left. If you have any questions, then I think you can enter them on the app. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you, guys. I, I've got a question for you. So, I mean, you, you've talked through some really interesting campaigns there, and it's, it feels like you're starting, you know, this is a real opportunity for brands to have a big impact on the whole supply chain. What's your normal way of engaging with brands? Like, Good loop. Yeah. We work with brands and agencies, so uh, in this example, Havas came to us with the brief. It felt like such a good fit. GiftGaff were looking to, you know, really deliver on their purpose. So, you know, we work with agencies much like any other sort of advertising platform. Um, or we work directly with brands. Uh, actually, we're working on a brief at a moment where the brand doesn't know what charities to support. It's not sure what its partners would be, and so we can provide that matchmaking service and help actually find the charities that are both most resonant to the brand values, but also most relevant to their target audience. Okay. And Dan, I'm interested in the B Corp status for Havas London. The process of getting that, I mean, it's, it's very detailed and a huge amount of work. How has it actually changed the fabric of Havas London? Well, Havas London's the creative arm of the, of the group. Okay. So I work at Havas Media, but we work in the same building. And it really does come all the way through every like, hour every day. You know, how we you know, approach the printer room changes and like, the way that we dispose of all the waste. Everything is like, completely sustainable and, and playing to that higher uh, accreditation of B Corp status. OK. Cool, cool. We've got one question here. Uh, what's the green tag that you spoke about? that you're launching, and can you tell us a bit more? So it hasn't launched yet, so I can't tell you everything, but um, basically we built it internally because we wanted to know what carbon our ads were emitting. We use a methodology that tracks data, um, data use, and then transfers that into a carbon emission using a, um, an equation that looks at the, car the electricity grid at the time and the place and the geography. Um, having built it internally and then carbon offset every good loop campaign, we kind of thought, like, actually, this could be quite useful for other people. So we've now spun it out as a separate product, and we're looking for beta launch partners. Okay. So get in touch. There we go.